What is that? Actually, no, better yet, what is that? Could be the F-16. Uh, pilot side. Oh! Yeah, that's yeah. a thing. Let's see if it... Nope, nope. Hi, I think it's time for a channel update. Big thanks to everyone that liked and subscribed and left words of encouragement. Also, special thanks for the comments. A part of making this channel was hoping there'd be a few geniuses out there that would show us things that I'd never considered, and it's amazing when that happens. Super duper thanks to everyone that's helped me test things. That's Shadow, Nedog, Kappa, Chaders, Probably a few more I don't recall off the top of my head, but hopefully credited in those videos. Some of those tests can be very dry, repetitive, and a lot of what-ifs, so thanks again for that. I've opened up a buy me a coffee if you want to contribute to the channel, other than already awesome YouTube likes. It's a pretty easy site to navigate and doesn't require you creating an account though its search function isn't that great and probably won't find anything so just use the link in the description below if you're so inclined as you might know for better or worse i'm not really playing to the algorithm i am keeping a work-life balance and all that jazz and uh, that said these guides need a lot of research ahead of time and then what ifs and hypothesis and then Testing and testing further and finding new ideas and testing those and then eventually scripting it and making it. So they take a while and quite a bit of effort to produce. So roundabout way of me saying the videos will come out at the pace you're familiar with already. And at this stage, I'm more interested in focusing my time on making these guides rather than managing a community or a bunch of other special access sites and whatnot. I enjoy teaching the shark, so for now I'll keep teaching and mentoring the K50 on tactical DCS, road raids, and low level hell. If it's beyond the very basics of keybinds and cockpit layout, I'll usually try and find time. Normally I like to keep what I'm busy with close to my chest, so when I reveal it, it's in its final form and I don't have to do retractions of oops, it actually works like this instead. But that said, there's some things I can reveal that's coming in the pipe. Coming up, I've been working on a mini-series for actual fuel calculations in the shark. Everything from quick little calcs you can do off the top of your head, just sitting in the cockpit mid-flight, to ideal speeds, loadouts, and maybe some light flight planning. As you can see in the background, I've now dabbled beyond just blowing stuff up. And it's actually quite rewarding just flying it and pushing this agile bird to its max. Not that I'm doing it there, but once I've figured out how to get these maneuvers sustainably under 2Gs and more precise rollouts and planning exit speeds along with the camera angles and your routine and that kind of stuff. I'll do a few videos on that. That said, outside of the very old uh, Fraser vid and the awesome work done by Shadow Osa, I'm not actually seeing much these days on the Pilo aerobatic front. There are individual people dabbling here and there. Hook me up if you know someone that is actually quite conversant in this stuff. It would be useful to compare notes. Also, there will be coordinated flight, with explicitly the purpose of working towards accurate rocket and bomb delivery. I will be rewriting the Vicker lock-on after launch video, probably for the fourth time. I keep refining the technique. And on that, most of my guides are just the comprehensive everything about a thing. So it's not always beginner friendly in terms of it might overload new people. So there will be a mini series as well taking you from absolute zero with the intent of showing you only absolutely what you need to know to get up, flying, blow stuff up and have fun. And who knows, maybe Black Shark 3 is right around the corner. Two weeks, eh? On the Apache, 
I'm sort of telling you that turning with the tailwheel unlocked while stationary or reversing could have that freewheeling caster flip around and then prevent you from relocking the tailwheel unless you then taxi forwards and then give it a quick kick on the pedal so it spins out and realigns. I don't have anything more substantial to comment or to add on how to fly it. I, I think most of this has already been covered in my extensive hover video and explaining the flight dynamics around that. If WAGS and CASMO don't have you covered there yet, absolutely check out Eagle 7 and Sculeo 64's channels for Apache flight guides. I'll leave links in the description. At this stage in early access though, if I were to play around and discover any funky tricks, it'll probably be exactly that. A funky trick that's a bug to be squashed in two weeks time. So for the most part in Apache, you'll probably see me just flying it and having fun. I really do want to get into the hind more. Um, been reading up a lot about the shark's history and the various things between the Car 50 and Mi 28 competition leading into the Car 52 versus Mi 28N and the design decisions around what the shark had to be over what the hind was as well as the experience of the pilots that flew the shark always stemmed from the hind so been reading up inadvertently a lot about the hind as well and generating interest for me like that at some point when i've done sorting fact from fiction and propaganda i'll probably also make a little mini series on the history of those developments and their competitions right that's about it Coming up soon will be part two to Sam's and Grant Cutter. This is Volk. See you soon.